map is littered with stories of players and clubs who've been to Wembley two years running, and it happened to Charlton Athletic immediately after the Second World War. Their celebrated goalkeeper, Sam Bartram, was in the team beaten by Derby in 1946, but which went back to win the cup against Burnley the following year. Sam recalls that in those days of demob suits and ration books, the cup had its coincidences. Well, <clears throat> the first one was when the ball burst. Um, Dully Duncan uh, come in from the left and he hit this ball and uh, as it landed in my arms, it just went flat and uh, I suddenly realised if I didn't do something about it, the referee would stop the game and bounce it on the line. So I just threw it straight out to the touchline where it flopped down and of course they have a bounce up on the touchline, you know. And the second thing in the match was um, an own goal uh, against us and then uh, we equalised, which was with Bert Turner done, scored both goals, you know. And of course we had to go into extra time and of course they murdered us in extra time. Of course they had a good side. Of course, you came back the following year and beat Burnley, and uh, there is a story that the ball burst again, but perhaps you could clarify that. Yes, well, it didn't actually burst the second time. It went down, it went down very, very uh, soft, and, you know, it was like a pudding, and, of course, um, they couldn't... Uh, they couldn't play on with it, so the referee had to take it off and change it again, you know, and that, uh, of course, um, we just played on, and, uh, and, of course, went on to uh, win in extra time. There was about six minutes to go, and there was a long cross came over from the right. Don Welsh went up to head it, missed it, and Chris Duffy gone in and swung his right. And, of course, it was in, and, of course, Chris turned and ran, you know, and that was, uh, you know, that was it. And I thought, well, this is it. It must be our day today, you know. It, um, but six minutes was an awful long time uh, waiting for the whistle to, to blow for fine. A more significant...